Genki. Dude, Rhino? What? <laughs> yeah. Where you at? You get into the apartment, okay? Yeah. Your mom let me in. Unpacked slash dumped my stuff all over your floor. And now I'm in the park, grabbing some air. Oh, perfect. Dip over to the amphitheater. Got something to show you. Dude, is this spider related? Please tell me you got a piece of Rhino's horn or something. Pics I've seen of the fight are straight up nuts. Ha! <laughs> definitely spider related. And definitely better than a horn. Oh, loving the suspense. I'm there. Let the dust settle on Venus. We ran over diamonds. The media mislead us. True wealth is knowledge. They gon' try to hold you down when we gon' get back up right now. They gon' try to mute the sound, but just know that you got that power in the soul. In this life, I'm talking right. I think he's probably waiting at the amphitheater for me. never get used to you doing that. Hey, look. Check it. Christmas present from Spider-Man. Open it. <laughs> Dude. Put it on. I'll cover you. Oh, what? <laughs> never seen a guy change clothes in Central Park? Okay. How's it looking? Whoa. Miles Morales, congratulations and welcome to your very first super suit. This is only half of the present. Well, what's the other half? I'll let you know when I find it. Welcome to Just a Facts with me, your truth slinging host with the most. J. Jonah Jameson. What? This Pete said his suits to autoplay Jameson's show? <laughs> Guy's a masochist. Sad news, listeners. My Christmas charity spectacular was canceled due to masked vigilante <laughs> mayhem. Gotta be something better on. Huh. Been hearing good things about this one. Hello, I'm Danica Hart, and this is the Danica where I spotlight the people making a real difference in our city. Today's topic, oh, you know, stockbrokers, for-profit colleges, the people who make internet videos autoplay. <laughs> no, obviously we're covering the Spider-Men's incredible takedown of Rhino. Subscribe, Danicast, new favorite podcast. the place. Looks like Pete set up a lot of gear. Get ready for your first holographic training challenge. 
These challenges are spread throughout the city. Each one focuses on a new move or technique. This one focuses on acrobatic improvisation. Get into position to start. Hollow training? Oh, I am so down. First up, air combat. Fighting the enemy on your terms is a great way to gain the advantage. Now follow up with a mid-air attack. And now a personal favorite, the swing kick. Holotech is next gen! With the right part? Air combat and disarming to win a season. Try and get up. And that's the bingo! Uh, blue screen of death. Tons of high-tech gear we can sell. <laughs> oh crap. Spider! Take them out! Then grab the gear! This is official Spider-Man tech! Y'all are not authorized to resell! System error. error. That's it for the tech thieves. Now to fix a training sim. Critical fault on circuit AF-15. Colonel panic. Well, let's try a BIOS reset. Nice! That did it. It looks like P made stealth, swinging, and combat challenges. Gotta check these out when I get a chance. Hey dude, I think you should check out Roxxon Plaza on your way home. I just walked by and I'm pretty sure someone's breaking in. Uh, yeah, I'll look into it. Hey, so... I want to hear more about your new spider powers. I think it's some kind of bioelectric discharge. Or supercharged static electricity. Ooh, we gotta name it. How about venom power? <laughs> you know, because it stings. <laughs> okay, that's not bad. I'm gonna run. Plaza first, then home. Remember, venom power. Trust me, it's gold. people about this podcast. We've jumped the charts from 136 to 87. Like, uh, wow. <laughs> okay, okay. Today I'm doing a quick cast before I head downtown for my citizenship test, and I'm answering fan DMs. First one, where are you from, Danica? Well, I was born in Fuzhou, China, but we came to New York when I was six. Next question, what kind of mic do you use? Uh, purple? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Billy saw my uh, okay, question three. What's the point of your podcast? Hi there, huh? I'm Simon Krieger, and what you're standing next to is a new form reactor. Once activated, this reactor will supply enough energy to power all of Harlem. Now, I'm sure you're thinking, Simon, how is that possible? And the answer is new form. Just one canister of this revolutionary fuel source is enough to supply Harlem with clean, safe energy for the next 500 years. Soon, we'll be opening reactors throughout Manhattan, and then worldwide. Get ready for a planet powered by Nuvor. Roxxon, we're here for you. What was that? Hmm. No sign of anybody. They broke a bunch of stuff. Maybe they were looking for something. Oh, 
Huh. He did his search for new form. What were they gonna do with it? <laughs> what they found so I know where they're gonna hit next. They were tracking new form shipments, but why? Rock's on security. They can take it from here. Yeah. Gotta look into this later. Christmas dinner sounding pretty good right about now. I'll look into that group and the new form shipments tomorrow. Middle school graduation. Haven't seen these two in a while. Gracias, mami. I invited a guest tonight. Can you get the apartment ready? Oh, um, maybe put on some music to set the mood? Ah, oh, Naja. Really? Your campaign manager on Christmas Eve? Well, tomorrow's rally isn't going to plan itself. Thanks for getting the apartment ready, mijo. Hello? <laughs> Fifteen years in Brooklyn without a stain. Then we moved to Harlem. Might be a sign. Yo pensé que ya habíamos llenado esos formularios. No. Glad Dad's tree survived the move. Me too. He loved that little guy. Ain't no Christmas like a Brooklyn Christmas. I miss hearing him say that. Sí, claro. I'm gonna make you proud, Dad. Él dijo que no, no, no te creo. Ese hombre está loco. Hmm. No records. Hey, mom, where's dad's vinyl? Um, should be in my room. Thanks. Seguro que sí.
Guess mom's not done unpacking either. That wallpaper just screams abuela. And what's that? Huh. Must have gotten mixed up in the move. One of dad's old case files. Who's the prowler? I wonder if dad ever caught the guy. I haven't looked through these since before City Hall. Dad's favorite album. He put this on every Sunday while he made coffee. Mom ordered like a hundred of these because the article mentioned Dad. Who is the Spider-Man? If only you knew, Ma. Bleached borax, mm -hmm. borax with bleach. Borax What's bleach. the pick, DJ? The greatest record ever. This is perfect. Low key, classy. You didn't like jazz when I was little. Your dad taught me to love it. That doorbell's been broken for years. Miles, could you get that? Of course. How are your parents, Ganky? I have... Finn? Hey, fixed your doorbell. <laughs> it's so good to see you. How are you? It's been like... Months. A lot's changed. Yeah, it really has. Is that our guest of honor? Come on in, you two. Dinner's almost ready. Finn. I'm so glad you could make it. Thanks for inviting me, Miss Morales. <laughs> we missed you. Well, this one especially. <laughs> uh, hi. Finn, this is Genki, my friend from Brooklyn Visions Academy. Genki, this is Finn, my best friend. <laughs> my other best friend. <laughs> oh, yeah. You guys won the middle school science fair at County, right? You made a, uh, energy, energy converter? converter? Jinx! <laughs> oh. <sighs> the wiring in this building is such a mess. I'll check the circuit breaker. Gracias. So, Christmas by candlelight? I promise I didn't break it when I fixed your doorbell. I hadn't considered that. No good. Breaker doesn't have power. Looks like the whole block's out. Let me check if I can see anything from the fire escape. Definitely can't get to the transformer from here. Unless you're super sticky. Can you see any other buildings out? People on the roof. Can't go up there. Yeah, got the whole block. Walks out back. Nope. Then this wouldn't be a problem. Really hope no one can see me up here. Don't look out the window. Don't look out the window. Think Miles is having any luck outside? I hope so. Hot plates are only going to get us so far in salvaging this dinner. Bioelectricity can take down Rhino, but can it save Christmas dinner? Come on. It worked. Oh, man, those lights are bright. Did not think this through. Gotta get back inside ASAP. Keep them distracted, Genki. Come on, Genki. Is Miles still outside? Actually, uh, <laughs> what about a photo? <laughs> right now? Yeah, you know, precious moments. You gotta capture them. Shouldn't we wait for Miles? No, he hates photos. <laughs> All right, everyone squeeze in. Ready? Great photo, great photo. Oh, hey, Miles. Uh, who's ready to eat? You guys sit down. I got this. Mm, smells good. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. 
Finn, tell us everything you've been up to. You still in robotics club? I had to quit, but I've been studying biotech on my own. Nerd. Ugh, says the guy who has to wear an ascot to school. <laughs> hey, only on Tuesdays. <laughs> Does your brother Rick still work for Roxon? I don't know how anyone could work there after seeing your last campaign ad. You went for Simon Krieger's jugular. <laughs> that reminds me. Genki, you have a certain flair for social media. Could you spread the word about tomorrow's rally? Yeah, we'll be trending by midnight. <sighs> Sometimes it feels like Simon Krieger's my real opponent. Roxon has so much influence here, but they don't answer to anyone except their shareholders. Harlem needs someone to fight for the community. That's Mom's campaign speech voice, in case you couldn't tell. <laughs> uh, you want to proofread these before I post them? Yes! Do not hit send! <gasps> <laughs> So, what's going on with you? What do you mean? You seem... I don't know. Distracted. Want to talk about it? Not tonight. It's Christmas. Hey, how are you handling the move from Brooklyn? I mean... It's fine. Ugh. You hate it. No. Nah. That's your, I hate it, but I'm too nice to say it voice. No. It's... I don't know anybody here, and I'm always having to ask for directions. You need to find a good restaurant, a barber shop, somewhere you can shoot hoops. You'll settle in. What if we hang out tomorrow? Just the two of us. You're not too busy? It's winter break. I can put off homework for at least another week. Okay, I'll text you. It's a date. I, I mean, N not a date, uh, you know, a, a friend date. Still as smooth as the last time I saw you. <laughs> <laughs>